All right, let's go, let's go, man. Let's get into it. So, I'm just going to get right into it. This is the worst NBA Finals I ever watched, and this has to be the worst NBA Finals ever. This is the most boring, boringest Finals I've ever witnessed, seen. The participants are boring. The matchup is boring. The games are boring. And just honestly, you know, I should do a separate video on this book. Listen, I, I hate the Celtics. I hate the Celtics just as much as the next person, but even the Celtics would have made this even better. Even the Lakers would have made this even better. The Celtics versus the Lakers was the matchup America wanted to see, what I wanted to see. But even if you insert the Miami Heat versus the L.A. Lakers, you have LeBron James, you have the Lakers, which is always a storyline. Even if you replace the Miami Heat with the Boston Celtics, the Boston Celtics versus the Denver Nuggets would have been better because at least I would have had someone to root against. But this finals is so boring. It's not even funny. So the Nuggets take a 3-1 lead, and I just don't care. I don't care. Game was close, I guess. Listen, let me tell you something. I fell asleep in the second quarter. I really fell asleep. After the second quarter was done, I'm like, all right, you know what? It's a close game. I'm going to stay up. I'm going to post a short and, you know, get my, you know, get a short up for the people. But this, but I fell asleep right after I woke up and it said, your event has ended. I'm like, dang, I really fell asleep for this finals. I, f I didn't watch game one, barely watched game one. I, I was out. Game two and three and four, I just fell asleep. I just want to know, for all the basketball fans out there, is this boring to you as well? All my friends said this is boring. All my homeboys said this is boring. This is just so – I don't see any posts on social media about this finals. This is so bad, and it's not even funny. I don't care about the Nuggets, and I really don't care about the Miami Heat. I like uh, Jimmy Butler, Nicole Jokic. I gave you your flowers, but you guys are so boring. It, it is. This is like literally like watching paint dry. This is like you know how boring this is. Anybody who works knows, like you know when you have to do orientation and you have to sit there on the computer and watch a bunch of videos. That's how boring this is. This is how horrible the finals are. Like, Game 7 of the Boston Celtics was more interesting. Game set, um, 7 with the Boston Celtics and the Miami Heat was more exciting than this. Like, Jimmy, you my boy and all, bro. And I want you to get your ring, which most likely not. But this is boring. This is so boring. There's no excitement. At least when him and Grant Hill or whoever, uh, not Grant Hill, Grant Williams were going at, at least that was exciting. LeBron James versus Nicole Jokic, you know, uh, Nicole Jokic versus Andy Davis. At least that's exciting. There's nothing exciting about these finals. I fell asleep for every, every one. And it's going to be, it's looking like it's going to be a gentleman's sweep anyways. So I really didn't miss much. And listen, look, like I said, I don't like the Celtics at all. I, you know, my co-host CEO, he, he's a, whale looking guy and you know there's a other dude on here kaiju he's about as big as uh, a pumpkin he's as, he's about as big as a obese bear but at least with the celtics you have jason tatum and you have the celtics who are a big franchise and with the lakers and i, I know i get called a lebron hater all the time i'm not a lebron mm -hmm. hater but at least if it was lebron versus the miami heat a that's a rematch and b a rematch of 2020 and B, it's LeBron James. He always brings storylines. He's always makes stuff interesting. That's why he's been the late face of the league for the last 10 years, for the last decade. But this this is even even Toronto and Golden State was more important than this because A, you had Steph Curry and Kevin Durant before he went down, two superstars, two well-known people. And the Toronto Raptors were just more, I don't know, it was something about the Toronto Raptors, it just made me more excited to watch them. Maybe it's because, you know, Kawhi Leonard, he got burned by the San Antonio Spurs, and the San Antonio Spurs sent him to basically Siberia, a.k.a. Toronto, to die, and he overcame the odds. He really overcame the odds. 
even the Suns versus Milwaukee, it was like, okay, Giannis, you've got your MVPs. You've been bowling. Now it's time to get the championship. And Devin Booker, oh, my gosh, Devin Booker is had a breakout year. And Devin Booker has way more personality than Nikola Jokic. Giannis has more uh uh, Giannis has more personality than Nikola Jokic, and that's not saying much. And we all know CP3, he's been in the league for years and years, so it's like, oh, is CP3 finally going to get his ring? But these two guys are just so boring. These these two teams are just so boring. You have, a, you have Jimmy Butler and a bunch of no names, a bunch of undrafted rookies that no one cares about, and then you have Nikola Jokic who has the personality – of of a piece of cinnamon toast crunch, Jamal Murray. No one cares about you, bro. You ain't nothing. Aaron Gordon. Who cares? Like who cares about this finals? This has to be the worst finals ever. Even the Knicks and the Sacramento. Even the Knicks and the Spurs had to be more entertaining than this. I mean, Tim Duncan and Dave Robinson might be boring, but at least you have Patrick Ewing as a personality. You have the Knicks who haven't won since. Uh, Hasn't won anything since the 70s. The Nuggets and the Heat. Oh my gosh, it's so boring. And I can't be the only NBA fan, basketball fan who thinks this. I can't be. Nothing's entertaining about this. But that's my thoughts, man. What are yours? I will be doing a reaction video when the finals are over. It might, it's looking like it's going to be over soon because the Nuggets are up 3 1. But I will say this, if there's another team in history who can pull off a 3-1 lead, it could be the Miami Heat. Because the Miami Heat, let's be for real, they've been dead in the water. They they shocked us throughout this whole playoffs. Don't be shocked that they get game five. Do not be shocked that they got game five. But I'll do a reaction video to it. No matter push comes to sub, I'm going to do a reaction video and tell you about the series and give flowers to whether it's Jimmy or Nicole Jokic who wins this. But... I, this is just a separate radio from the series. This series is so boring. I mean, I have no problem. Like, I want Jimmy to win because Jimmy's 32, 33. He, he, he's about to, you know, age out soon. And I want him to get his ring. I don't really, and Nicole, Yoke, I like Nicole Yoke. So if he got a ring, that's cool. But this is so boring. This is so boring, man. Both teams are boring. Both personalities are boring. Jimmy Butler, you know what the problem is? Jimmy Butler doesn't have someone to go back and forth with. I thought Aaron Gordon might go back and Jimmy, but either A, they're going back and forth and it's not entertaining, or B, Aaron Gordon just so has no personality at all that no one cares about Aaron Gordon. But that's my thoughts, man. What are yours? RJ out.